December 10th. Um, wanted to show you how I brawl to the top stop top spot with zero losses. I've gotten the top spot in brawls before in my guild, but I usually have like at least one loss, so it'd be like seven one or something. This was the first time I feel like it took forever to get it like zip like no losses and it was because a lot of times in the past i would always run into a cora um those of you who brawl know that card is like the most op card in the gladiator set um even after i got a cora i kept forgetting to use it um you know because it's not a card that's regularly available in the game so i don't think about strategies so um yeah, I finally started using it, um, and so it was great. I have to say, playing the brawls has been the most rewarding thing in this game in terms of we rewards. Because I'm a Silver League player, I don't really get a lot of SPS at my level, so um, I find that the brawls and the tournaments is where I make most of my SPS. So I'm in Archmage Arya's Disciples. We did really well um, in this brawl. We placed second. Um, everybody, like, we have a lot of really good players um, in our guild. So let me show you my battles that, um, oh, it looks like I never even watched the last one. But let me show you the, the battles that got me the nine zip. I just want to mention that I feel for the gladiator, uh, the brawls, you always should use a gladiator card if you can. I find that like that's the advantage um, in the brawls. Like use the gladiator cards. They really make the difference. So, okay, so of course in this one, I did not use a gladiator card, um, but most of the time I do. Like I, I, I think... A lot of the times, that makes the difference between winning or losing the brawl. Like, use the gladiator cards. Also, how have you been liking the music? I don't know. Like, I'm fine with different, you know, music in the um, UI in the beginning of the game. But in the battles, I kind of miss just having the battle music in the battles. But, uh, yeah, how are you feeling about this music? Like I said, always use gladiator cards. My opponent also used a gladiator card. Liza the Fox, I think this one's called. Is it Liza the Fox? Yeah. Um, so yes, always use a gladiator card. I use one with life leech being that I knew this was a poison rule set, right? Like I want something that comes back alive every time that, that gains life being that this is a poison rule set, right?
Let me tell you, Lorna is like one of my favorite summoners in this game, like no doubt. Um, this is an earthquake, so the reason why I use this gladiator card, this is a good, Captain Katie is a good gladiator card. I just hate that she's slow, but once she gets blood loss, you know, her magic increases to four and her speed increases a bit. But being that this was earthquake, that's why I did a, a life leech um, type, um, not life leech, was scavenger, yeah, type monster that that's usually like my um tactic in earthquake games poison games anything that increases its life um i use that to supplement um yeah oh yeah i just saw um a message on my phone from my uh someone in the guild yeah today's the day that one of the airdrop summoners happened so um after we do this little exercise i'm going to check to see how i did with that i'm actually hungry and have some food um yeah it's like saturday morning right now Took my gladiator out. Boom. That Captain Kate, she gets really strong, but kept her distracted in the back. Let's see the next one. I had a lot of battles, I had nine. Yeah, so I've, I've gotten one in the brawls, but every time that I've gotten uh, first place, it's I've, I've had a loss, like one loss, sometimes two. So this was just really amazing to finally do it with no losses. Pretty cool. I don't even remember the strategy for this. Oh, I think this was, yeah, back to basics. So just try to put as many as you can. And with higher, um, you know, like four. Yeah, I think everybody knows the back to basic way to go. And Team Possible, I feel like all the Team Possible um, guilds are really good. Um, so this is the one I haven't watched yet. Okay, so this one I feel like I had an advantage because I have a level two. Yodin over their level one Yasik. So, I don't think it's my... Ooh, they got that Tatiana Blade, though. So, I have two um, legendary... Um, ooh, why is this so weird? Oh, this is not going to play good. It's like playing weird. Oh, there we go. Boom, Bloodless. Boom. But I had the advantage of this, though, because my cards were more um Tatiana is ooh that card is bloodless yeah that was so this card it was my first um legendary gladi um gladius pull which I did back like I think like in April or May and since then I've only gotten one other um like one other legendary gladius card it's really hard to pull them okay this one i have the advantage too because i'm level four but um yeah but a lot of times um my guild is big so a lot of times i actually miss um the phrase it just seems like the phrase a lot of times it happens when, either when i'm at work or when i'm sleeping so by the time I go to choose a fray that I can be competitive in, it's already filled up. So a lot of times it's because I don't even play because, you know, it's first come first serve, which is fair, right? So I've been getting a little help lately um, by one of the guild um, officers to just place me into the phrase because it usually happens when I'm at work. Or what's this one? Okay, so this is more of a competitive level four, four and four. Um, here we go. Ooh, you see I use, okay, so this is when I started using Cora. I'm like, 
you need to remember you have that core card. This person, I don't know what they were thinking by putting Time Mage in the first spot. Very weird. This was a melee sneak um, type uh, rule set. That's why I use Mylor. Mylor is the other great um, summoner from Dice. I just feel like the Dice summoners were so much better than the Rift Watcher summoners. Like, Dice produced Lorna and Mylor, right? Like, and Bright and Bloom. Like, some of the most meta type summoners in this game. Um, Rift Watchers, I prefer the monsters over the summoners. The summoners, really, in, in my opinion, overall, are not that necessary except Ilthane. Ilthane is necessary. Yeah, see, so again, make sure, just make sure, even if it's a weak gladiator car, like this is a better one. I love that one. You know, you, you just got to do what you got to do. You have to, I feel a lot of times with this game is you have to put one in to, to be able to do that. And so the way I was able to win this one, I think obviously is because of Llama. Llama um, cleanses you from poison. And so that's why I use Llama. And then I also use Cornelius which is a self-heal, which is playing off of this person using Zenith Monk, also a self-heal. That's like a common strategy for these things. Um, so, yeah, shout out to Darkest Knight. Um, he gave me the delegations for the Llama and the Cornelius. Um, I rent a lot of cards to play as competitive as possibly. So it always really helps when I'm able. Um, these delegations always really help me. So that I can get all... Because sometimes the cards are just way too um, expensive to rent. You know, like sometimes they get really ridiculous or, you know, especially a lot of these meta cards. So um, it really helps getting these delegations. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Yeah, Llama and Cornelius are definitely um, meta legendary cards and really help with these um, poison rule sets so that's it that's the nine games that um you know did it for me to make the um nine zip and the guild overall did second so that's amazing um let's go back to this um since we are here so i didn't purchase i've stopped purchasing chaos box a long time ago so i doubt i will get anything from this but, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not surprised that I did not get not one from this. Um, basically, my strategy has been, it really doesn't make sense to buy all those packs for the airdrop chances because the pricing of the cards are not that expensive. Um, so it's like if you go and buy, what are the packs, $4 or whatever, like if I bought 25 more packs to make, um, to get the 600 to get one card, honestly, those 25 packs, I probably could buy the three cards to get the legendary second level um, for silver for silver level um, without buying the pack so so for me economically it just doesn't make sense I'm a silver Le league player I'm already um, you know m most of my, my deck chaos deck and refactor deck is max for silver so um, I really don't have I've been upgrading some of my cards to gold but it's not uh, um, it's 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 really not a how do I put this? It's not a priority for me at the moment. Um, I'm still trying to pull a Rift Watcher Gold Legendary card. I feel those are going to be more rare and more valuable. So I do buy Rift Watcher packs every now and then. But as you can see, I'm already um, silver level, and I've been doing some of them to gold because I, you know I keep buying packs but it's not like a goal I am a silver level player so like you see my 
Summoner is still silver level, although some of my cards um, are already there, except the legendary ones, because those are, those are expensive, you know. <laughs> so um, yeah, but maybe I buy packs to see if I could pull some of these legendary um, summoners, because I saw in the secondary market the packs are now like a dollar fifty, so maybe it might be worth buying it now on the secondary market, not through um, Splinterlands website, but the secondary market. You know, I've never went to the non-card market. I just realized I have no idea where it is on here. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I'll do that on my own time. But Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.